Hi, my name is Dominique and I'm a Babyless Scout. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Diano Radian RXT convertible car seat. You can install the Diano Radian two ways, either with the Easy Latch system connected to the anchors built into your car or with the seat belt, but not both. And please remember there are different weight limits for each latch system and every car seat is different, so please read your manual. To install the car seat rear facing, you have to use the detachable base which comes with the car seat. Install the detachable base and then you would put the super latch connectors or seat belt through the rear facing belt path. It is literally spelt out on the side of the car seat so it's super helpful. Then you would connect it and you want to pull tight and apply pressure so that there is little movement. You want to check for movement at the belt path and you want to make sure that there is less than one inch of movement front and back and side to side. If you need a better angle while installing your car seat rear facing, you can get the angle adjuster which is sold separately. The angle adjuster cannot be used with newborns. When you install the angle adjuster, you would just place it right underneath the car seat but not underneath the detachable base and then just install the car seat. Just a reminder, rear facing is from 5 to 45 pounds and up to 44 inches tall and you can also use an infant insert if you have a newborn that you want to use with this car seat. One important note about installing the car seat using the seat belt, you do want to make sure that you always lock the seat belt into place to ensure safe installment. Once you're done in the rear facing stage, which can last a pretty long time because of the high weight limit and height limit, you can move on to forward facing. You can do forward facing from 20 to 65 pounds and up to 57 inches. You would just want to make sure that you first remove the detachable base. When forward facing, you will have to adjust the bottom of the car seat. For children that are under 25 pounds, you will have to raise it. And for children that are 25 to 65 pounds, you will have to lower the bottom of the car seat harness system which you just attach to the harness at the back of the car seat. In the forward facing installation you could use either the super latch and connect it to the anchors of the car or you can use a seat belt. You would just run it through the forward facing belt path which is more towards the back of the car seat. Once again you want to make sure that you pull nice and tight and apply pressure to ensure that there is no more than one inch of movement either front to back and side to side and you would want to check that at the belt path. Also, if you're using the seat belt, remember you do want to make sure that you pull it nice and tight and lock it into place when installing this car seat. In both the rear facing and forward facing positions, you can use the top tether to tether the car seat down to offer less movement. The last position that you can use this car seat in is in the booster mode. You would just remove the harness and use the seat belt in place of the harness. Booster mode can be used from 50 to 120 pounds, so again it would be used for an older child. You can also raise the headrest to make sure that the child's ears are in the middle of it. The seat sides can also be expanded or made narrow for more comfort. To help keep your child comfortable and safe, there are many adjustable features in this car seat. You can easily adjust the harness up and down and also tighten it using the crank system. As always, make sure that the chest clip is armpit level in your child. In rear facing, the harness will come from the slot slightly below the child's shoulders and in forward facing, the harness will come from the slot slightly above the child's shoulders. The last feature I would like to call attention to is the fold of the car seat. You can fold the car seat to make for an easier carry. You would just loosen up the harness and also loosen all the Velcro on the side of the car seat. Find the two release levers in the back of the car seat and fold it onto itself and then secure it together with the red Velcro strap that can be found near the headrest. So there you have it. Diano makes it really easy to both install and break down the Radian RXT. I hope this installation video was helpful. Check out Babylist's YouTube channel for a full review of the Diano Radian RXT. Thanks for watching and happy registering!